Hi, I'm Melissa Gilkey, a behavioral scientist and associate professor at the University of North Carolina's Gilling School of Global Public Health. In the previous presentation, we heard some good reasons to recommend HPV vaccine as soon as possible, starting at age nine. In this presentation, I'll share some recent data that suggests that some primary care professionals have already adopted this practice, and many others may be ready to get on board. The aims of this study were to evaluate primary care professionals' perspectives on recommending HPV vaccine at age nine. More specifically, we wanted to assess their current practice in terms of when they were recommending HPV vaccine. And for those who weren't recommending at age nine, we wanted to know how willing they might be to start doing so. We also wanted to understand what PCPs believe to be the advantages and disadvantages of recommending at age nine. To reach these aims, we conducted a national online survey of primary care professionals that we fielded in February and March of this year. Participants were members of a standing panel maintained by a survey research company, and they were eligible to participate if they had a role in providing vaccines to adolescent patients ages 11 to 17. Our final sample consisted of 1,047 PCPs. About two thirds were physicians, with the remainder being advanced practice providers. So in other words, nurse practitioners or physician's assistants, or nurses. Just over two thirds worked in family medicine clinics, while the others worked in pediatrics. Most had a good amount of practice experience, so 10 or more years. Our response rate was 61% for physicians and 41% for advanced practitioners and nurses. Let's look at some of our findings on HPV vaccine recommendations at age nine. So again, we first wanted to understand PCP's current recommendation practice, and we found that about one fifth, 21%, reported that they were already starting their HPV vaccine recommendations at ages nine and 10. And we can compare this to 59% who said they recommended at the traditional target age of 11 to 12, and 20% who said they started recommending at a later age or never. So a sizable minority were already using age nine recommendations. We next wanted to know among PCPs who weren't using age nine recommendations, how many were willing to adopt that practice? We found that about one fifth, 22%, said that they were very or extremely willing, while 39% were somewhat willing. And we can put these two variables together in the context of our full sample to think more broadly about support for age nine recommendations. We can see that taken together over two thirds, 69% of PCPs said that they either currently use age nine recommendations or are somewhat or more willing to start using them. Now, our final aim was to assess PCP's perceptions of the advantages and disadvantages of recommending HPV vaccine at age nine. And here we're looking at the advantages, which PCP selected from a pre-specified list. The top reasons appear to be about the potential health benefits. So over half of respondents said that recommending HPV vaccine at age nine would have the advantage of protecting the child before HPV exposure, and give the child a better chance to complete the HPV vaccine series on time. It's notable that only 12% of PCPs indicated that they didn't see any advantages to H9 recommendations. And here's a look at the perceived disadvantages, with the top one being the perception that parents aren't ready to talk about HPV vaccination at age nine. Almost three quarters of PCPs endorse this idea. The next most common response was the perception that it's uncomfortable to talk about sex with parents of younger children. About half of PCPs selected this option. And 8% of PCPs said they didn't see any disadvantages of age nine recommendations. So to sum up, our national study found reasons to be optimistic about primary care professional support for starting HPV vaccine recommendations at age nine. 
over two thirds of PCPs in our sample were already recommending at age nine or were at least somewhat willing to start doing so. Almost all PCPs saw at least one advantage to age nine recommendations, including the chance to better protect children before exposure to HPV and to complete the HPV vaccine series on time. PCPs also reported disadvantages, and in particular, concern about parents not being ready for HPV vaccination at age nine. And this is interesting because that's what we used to hear about HPV vaccination at ages 11 to 12. And yet most of the PCPs in our sample reported that they now recommend it at those ages. Encouraging PCPs to adopt age nine recommendations may require encouragement from others who have implemented it successfully. I'm excited to hear about two of those great success stories today when we hear from Rebecca Perkins and Sherry Zorn. So I'll wrap up here by acknowledging my collaborators and funders. I look forward to discussing this topic with you in the Q&A. Thank you.